Today, guys, if you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, please share my channel so that other people can learn how to do beginner art. Well, it's beginner friendly, but even advanced people. I'm probably going to lose my artist card over this. Yeah, they're going to take my license, but I think I committed a, a grave sin, but um, I cut this picture out of the book. But, um, okay, get out your crayons. I've got navy blue, blue, and cornflower. These are the three colors you need. Now, I want you all to keep your pencil tips sharp like this. I don't know where you can see them. There. Um, everybody tells everybody that, but they don't explain why. Okay. A narrow tip glides easily across the paper. A dull tip Let's see if I got a no one. Is the tip is going to be wider? See that? See how the dull tip is wider than the sharp? The wider an area is, the more it takes to lay down. You've got to put more force to get it to lay down because it's putting. It's like when you put fat tires on a car; they don't they don't spin out you got traction okay it's basically the same thing you got more forces against so it's traction the less force you have the better color lay down you have and it always irked me to no end that people are telling everybody oh you gotta keep your pencil sharp you gotta keep your pencil sharp and then they don't tell you why you need to keep the pencil sharp. So that's I got my picture upside down. So that's why and that's the that's the physics on why you should keep your pencil tips sharp. Okay, I'm gonna start out with maybe we're gonna do all the water first. Now you watch, I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on there. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. And see, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. That's because the tip is sharp. And it's not taking as much effort. To lay down a color. See, I'm not mashing. You see that, guys? I'm not mashing whatsoever. And we're going to do all the water the same way. Now, you guys can see anybody with any skill level and a uh, can do this and it's not going to be hard on your hands if you do it right got to have a sharp tip now we're going to come in with the blue you see how that color is going on real nice and easy I'm not mashing not mashing hard we're doing just like we do with the polychromos. Multiple light layers. Then we're going to come in with our corn flour. And we're going to do this. And I'm going to be doing all the water 
the same way. Now, if I'm not happy with the saturation, I come back. And I just give it some more. And that's all there is to it. And like I said, guys, you see I'm not mashing. Not mashing hard, see? So, even if you've got arthritis, or like, I have MS, so... I really can't mash that hard. And then you come back in with your blue. And I'm going to go in here. We're going to do all the water the same way. All of it. And I'm just going to go around that area with some corn flour just to give it more depth. And see, there's nothing to it. You just got to use them like you would your polychromos. But this is why you, uh, and I'm just going back in where I see I need a little bit more now you're going to do all the water in this picture the same way start out with your navy go to your blue and then go to your corn flour and it should pop out the page and you just keep at it till you're uh, satisfied with the color and uh, like I said, we're going to do, I'm not going to do all the water on video because eh, there's a lot of water and it's going to take a little while. But y'all get it, right? You do your navy first. And uh, I'm not putting any pressure. I'm just adding a layer upon a layer. That's all I'm doing. Just like you would with your polychromos. So, like I said, I'm going to sit here and do all this water with y'all. Because, oh my god. And you see how nice and saturated the pigment is? And this is Crayolas. You know, all you've got to do is treat them like a polychromos. Multiple light layers. Keep your pencil tip sharp. Remember that. Remember the little lesson I showed you about a thicker, dull tip. There's more area contacting the paper. So it takes more effort to put color down. So you want to always keep your pencil tip sharp. It just irks me to no end that I see all these videos, all these tutorials. Keep your pencil sharp. But they don't explain why you keep them sharp. There's physics involved. So I just explained to you why that you want to keep your pencil sharp. Less friction on the paper equals better coverage on the paper. And uh, I need to sharpen that. I hope I'm explaining this good. Uh... Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to explain why you keep your pencil sharp, and, and now you know. So with that, 
I am going to go and leave y'all to it. You out all these waters, you do the same way I just did right here. Go back and rewatch it if you have to. But that's how you do it. The colors were navy blue, blue, and cornflower. It's only three colors you need. Some people think you need four or five colors. No, you don't. You need a light, a medium, and a dark. That's all you need. Very beginner friendly. So, with that, I'm out of here. I'm going to say I love you. Peace out. Bye. Bye.